What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be helping you to install your Lightroom preset that you just downloaded from my website. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Caleb Schaffline, the founder of Bleach Film, with over 600,000 followers on Instagram today. And I am super excited for you because I'm actually going to be helping you to improve your editing skills and grow your photography business with this email and through my videos, okay? I actually paid for all of my college with my photography business on Instagram. Since then, I have been helping many photographers around the world to grow their audience, expand their reach, and work with more people and start making money from their camera. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, you're in the right spot. The first thing that we're gonna do today is get this preset installed so that you can start doing one-click editing with your presets on your photos, start editing some really insane shots, and we're gonna be installing this on Lightroom Classic, the professional program to edit with. So I'm super excited for you all. Follow me right now, we're gonna go to my computer, and I'm gonna help you install this on your computer as well. Okay guys, so here I am on my computer right now. Whenever you actually open the link, it's going to go to this drive here. So you're gonna be able to see this Google Drive and you're gonna be able to see this how to import your presets uh, tutorial that I've put together for you. So if you wanna follow along on here, this is the mobile version, so you can do that as well. But I made this quick video so that you all can just watch the video to learn how to install them. So one of the folders in this is gonna say download presets here, just click into that. And I'm gonna show you both the mobile version and the Lightroom Classic. We're gonna start with Lightroom Classic. So this is the desktop version. Click download on that. Go back over into this file and then I want you all to download the raw file as well so we can practice with it so download that as well okay now that both of those the both of those files are downloaded let's go ahead and open our lightroom click on library instead of develop and by the way this is a paid program so if you don't have it then you will need to either use the mobile application to install these presets or you can sign up for a free trial with Adobe on their website. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first go to import down at the bottom. We're gonna import that photo that I just downloaded. So pull that up here. Just drag and drop that in and then it's going to appear for us as selected click import and then that full that photo is going to be in our Lightroom okay now what you're gonna want to do is click on develop at the top this is where you would actually be editing you can change all the information about the file now this is a raw photo so that means that it keeps um, the information about this photo from the camera and you can still adjust it. There's more data in this photo than regular JPEG. So over on the right hand side, you should see a thing saying presets on the develop tab. Open that up, click on this plus and click import preset. Now go find that file that we just downloaded. Here it is the Bleach Film Portrait Preset. So here it is. You just click on that and now, voila, there is the edit. So you can see the before and the after of this photo. And this is the raw file. So it's going to look a little bit different than the JPEG version of this photo. Okay, so this is how you do it on Lightroom Classic. Now I'm going to jump over and show you all how to do this on mobile. All right guys, so here I am on my phone now and whenever you get started with your phone, if you're gonna do this with a mobile version, the first thing that you need is you need to go to Lightroom and you need to download this free application by Adobe. 
Okay, so if you don't want to get the paid version on the desktop, which is the Lightroom Classic, you can get this free version for your mobile phone, okay? So what we're gonna do is go open that program up and I'm going to delete these so you all don't see from the original part. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go into this uh, f uh, folder here and there's gonna be one folder that says download the preset here. You click on that for the uh, mobile Lightroom app. Now this is the file that you need to send to your phone and get it saved to your camera roll, either by AirDrop or by emailing it to yourself and saving it. Um, but you need to get this into your camera roll of your phone, okay? So download that on your phone and then import it into your camera roll so that you can use it on your mobile phone. Now, at this point, what you're going to do is click import from camera roll. And I'll show you all what this looks like on the camera roll just so you don't think you're crazy. You'll see it's a blank photo right here. It's this one right here that's blank. And there it is. It's a DNG file and that's why it is blank is because it just has that preset installed on it, okay? So from here, we're gonna click the plus sign and now it's added to our Lightroom. This has all of the edits that we need in this photo. So we're going to now create a preset by clicking the top right corner three dots right here create preset select all the different tool options and name this bleach film portrait preset click save now that is saved in your presets so what i want you to do now is actually go get the raw go to this folder raw photos for practice and I want I have one in a JPEG format here for your mobile editing so you can practice with my JPEG photo and we're gonna open that up from Lightroom get that on your com on your from your computer to your phone as well okay so let me show you all how to do that all right so you're gonna download that photo like I said and then you're gonna open it into your Lightroom application. Now here is that photo, it's a JPEG photo, it's gonna be slightly different than a RAW. And here is the Bleach Film Portrait preset. Here is the before and the after. And as you can see, it's slightly overdone. So we're gonna do this by going to the color section of Lightroom, turning down the temperature, and turning up the tint. The reason why it's slightly different is because this is a JPEG photo instead of a raw photo, and this filter was made for raw photos, so that's how you adjust it to where it's ready for JPEG. And now you can export this and post it on Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for watching that. I hope it worked for you. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be showing you how I edit my photos with these presets and how to take amazing pictures and edit them very well with Lightroom Classic. What I want you to do right now is comment below exactly why you are here, why photography is something that you're interested in and what you are struggling with in your photography business so that I can make a video about it for you. All right, thank you so much guys and see you later.